All right. You got your group assignments back last, last week. You got group A, B, C, D, or F. Uh, let's talk about what that means. Let's talk about what it means for your chances of getting workers. Let's talk about how the extra allotment would work, why that's not related to the lottery, et cetera, et cetera. Let's, let's clear up the confusion. What do your lottery results mean? Here we go, after the break. Hey everybody, so uh, here up on screen with me, we have the January 4th announcement saying OFLC finished its randomization of the applications for H2B put in from January 1st through 3rd. Um, they had six categories, eight, six groups, excuse me, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Let's talk about what those groups mean here on LawGrade, the channel where I give you reliable information to help you make better decisions and avoid costly mistakes during your immigration processes. Okay, so first thing we want to do is actually we want to click on this link here. So it says, uh, let's see what it says first. Okay, Office of Foreign Labor Certification, randomly assigned all H2B submitted. Application submitted during three-day filing window, January 1st through 3rd, requesting April 1st. Okay, so how many applications did we get? 4,875. So last year we got about 5,600. So we already see that's close to a 30% increase. For a hundred and in terms of number of employers, for 136,000 positions last year, we saw 96,000 positions requested, which is already a record. So, you know, not not 50 percent, but you're looking at a 30 to 40 percent increase um, over the filing period. All right, and so what it what they did then they took these and they went through this randomization process that you can actually read about. Um, in the federal register okay so it's actually it's actually codified here and it tells you why we did what we did okay here is down here we don't have to go into it but um, if you follow that link there you can see how this will be done what's actually being done okay so uh, if you go to the second paragraph here uh, it tells you how many applications are being put into each group. So group A will have enough workers to fill those initial 33,000 positions. That's what group A means. So you are in that first group. If you go through, you are more or less guaranteed an uh, 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 your workers, uh, all the workers that you requested, not just one, not just two, just all the workers, because the number of employers put into group A corresponds to 33,000 workers requested. So it could be 10 employers, you know, that request uh, 3,300 workers each, or it could be 33,000 employers requesting one worker each. The point is that Group A has enough applications to fulfill all 33,000 worker positions. In reality though, not everybody in Group A gets through, and so we have Groups B, and this, in this case through Group F, so Group B is the next 50, is the next 20,000, so that gets us to 53. Group C is the next 20,000 after that at 73,000. Group D is the next 20,000 after that, gets us to 93,000. Group B is the next 20,000 after that, gets us to 113,000. And then Group uh, F is the remainder, which is about 23,000 applications, uh, 23,000 spots, give or take. Okay, so Group A has enough applications, again, for 33,000 workers, and then it's 20,000 worker tranches for each group after that. What does this mean then? Well, let's go back here. OK, it means that, uh, you know, in Group A, you're going to get workers. Group B, some of you are going to get workers. I think it's about 40 percent of workers when I talk to other employers uh, and other agents that traditionally are going to get workers from that Group B because not everybody in Group A makes it. C, D, E and F, you're not going to get workers from that initial allotment. You're going to have to wait for an additional allotment of workers that we see in May or June. Okay, but let me stop there. There's something else. There's a second announcement from January 7th uh, that has actually published the assignment groups. So we do this so we can tell that everything is above board. So here you have in this column, you have the worker, the uh, excuse me, the employer. You have their case number. You have their agent attorney name. You have the worksite state and you have the randomization group. And you'll see that it's not just a whole bunch of people that have gotten A's. It's, 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 it's completely randomized. Actually, like this first uh, employer here, Brightview Landscapes, they're really, really, really good to look at if you look at this case. Because you can see that this is obviously a multi-state multi, multi -state, you know, conglomerate for landscaping. 
And you can see that they've had, they, they applied for different work sites with their different, um, they, they, they applied with a different application for every work site, which is, which is clever. And you can see that it's not a whole bunch of A's just because they're a large employer. You know, I often get the question, I'm a small employer, did I, did, is that why I got group DEF? No, it has nothing to do with that. And you can tell because Brightly Landscape's clearly a, a, a big employer, you know, they have, uh, which looks like a, a pretty good spread of, of A through F here, okay? Oh, oh, and it does look like, so So I, my, my mistake, I, I had said F, I didn't get any G's, but that would make sense. There makes sense there would be about 3,000 uh, left in the G group because 33, okay. So there's actually a G group, my goodness, okay. So I'm learning in real time that there's a G group. Uh, my my companies only went through F, I didn't get any G's, so that's why, that's why I'm surprised. Um, and there's a small number of G's because there would have been about 3,000 G's in the tail end. That makes sense. Okay, but the point is, you know, looking at these results, it is totally random. Okay, so you don't have to, there's no conspiracy theory as to why you didn't get, get group A. Even even the same employer filing multiple applications, you know, he didn't get a bunch of A's. They didn't get a bunch of A's. They, they got a smattering of A through wow, G, okay? So, well, whatever I said, it's not, there's not six groups, there's seven, you know? Okay, so they're, they're sticking to that 20,000 per, 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 per group limit pretty, pretty, pretty well. All right, so, what do you need to be thinking about? Okay, group B, you know, you need to be kind of thinking about you're going to go straight through the certification stage with the goal of going through it quickly so that you can get your worker because, you know, there, there, there's a good chance there's going to be numbers left at the end of it. Group C, D, E, and F, and G, what you need to be thinking about is, is this application good enough to move forward? Should I withdraw it? Or is it, uh, is it valuable for me this year to go ahead and get a certification so that next year my process, at least one step of the process, which is making sure that uh, the government knows I'm actually certifiable as an employer is checked off. If you're a first time employer, that's much more important than if you're a repeat employer. But even if you're a repeat employer and you, you, you think you can't, even get, you can't even use that additional summer allotment of workers, it might make sense to get certified again just so you have a clean record uh, you know, for all your years of filing of getting certified, 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 certified. OK, in the long run, it might not matter that much if you just want to get the process over with. You know, you don't need those workers. You just want to be done. Then it's best practice not to leave your application out there when you know you just don't want it just to go ahead and withdraw. So that number one, uh, when it is your turn to be processed, you don't just forget about it with and just get a denial because maybe you get a notice deficiency for something for something minor. Uh, and, and uh, you know, two, uh, that you're not scrambling to, to figure things out because you forgot about it. Okay. For the rest of you, getting certified, you know, it's 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 if it's a good idea, it's a good idea because again, you're keeping your records clean. But also, we're going to have this additional allotment of workers in addition to the thirty-three thousand that the lottery was for. So usually, we've gotten about twenty thousand workers in the summer. Um, this year, we, we we you know we heard at the conference in December that I reported from that that it could be could be much higher. It could be like forty thousand. We already had twenty-two thousand workers added to the October cycle. It was the first time we had an additional allotment. And now for the April cycle, hey, we, we might be seeing a significant number of workers released. For some businesses, it's not gonna make sense because these workers are not gonna be coming in until mid to late July. But for some people, it might make sense. And so getting certified all the way through is a really good idea. What happens for those additional workers, your lottery number no longer matters. It just matters, do you have a certification and can you apply quickly enough in that um, special additional worker portion of the H2B cycle. So again, your lottery number only matters for this initial 33,000 workers. The new workers aren't gonna be released until the Department of Labor goes through all the groups, A through G. That's when the DHS, Department of Homeland Security, uh, can then release additional numbers. And so at that point, if you have a certification, what's really gonna be, what's really gonna matter is number one, can you still use them? And number two, how quickly can you get uh, an application in to USCIS? Okay, you're still gonna be using your original DOL certification, so you won't have to mess with the DOL anymore. It'll just be about applying with USCIS for those workers that might be released. Okay, that's it. So again, group A, you're processing now. Good job, congratulations. Uh, group B, hey, just hold tight. There might be numbers available for you, more likely than not. And C through G, you're not gonna get workers in the first allotment, but it might be a good idea for you to complete the certification to either keep your record clean, uh, be if you're a new employer to establish a good record with the H2B program for next year, and see whether in your group A or B, 
it, you might actually be able to hire more workers with an additional allotment, which we're going to hear about in May or June. Why May or June? Well, the Department of Labor has to complete uh, processing of all hundred, uh, all 7,000. How many are there? 7,000. What, what did we say? Let's go back in here. 7,875 applications. They have to complete processing of all of those. And, uh, and then... Uh, you know, the DHS can act to to release more workers. So that's not going to happen until May or June. It's just that that's a lot of applications that need to be processed. OK, so, uh, you know, and, and when that happens, when, when, when you're certified, you will be able to apply possibly for that USCIS additional allotment of workers. OK, that's it. That's what you need to be thinking about. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, goodness. Um, it was a record cycle. We've seen it come to a fruition. I don't see this program getting any smaller anytime soon. If you're getting a request for evidence, we should have put out a video like yesterday showing you what to do. I'll have Santiago put it up here, link it, go check it out. We are helping with requests for evidence or uh, i.e. notices of deficiency that are coming in. We can help you with that. We can help you with other things. Anyway, I hope this is helpful and I hope you did well in the lottery. And if you didn't, don't worry. There's still a, a, a ways to go and, and, and other ways to benefit from this program. Thanks so much and have a great day.